Rat Who Bad, everyone. This is uh, Maku Murhuta Nahagata Dude L. And I'm bringing you this special message to let everybody know who is involved with the United Nawabi Nation of Moors under the fraudulent presidency of Chief White Buffalo, the German who took a lot of people's money cannot account for the money and is not responsible or acting responsible to the people who gave him that money. Numerous inquiries were delivered to Chief White Buffalo, including myself as the Vice President of the United Nawabia Nation of Moors, and questions went unanswered. Uneasiness became normal amongst the citizens. and he cannot account for the funds that he's received for the last eight years. Since 2011 to this past Sunday, 2019, he's taken thousands of dollars in and spent it on himself, on going to bars, paying for cars, lawnmowers, his land in Georgia, which is not the nation's land. The land, the loan is under his name, not the nation's name. And no one lives on the land but him. This has been going on for years, and the people, the citizenry of the United Nawabi Nation of Moors, finally got sick enough and fed up enough to where this, this white man was voted out of office. This, this German was voted out of office. And the people elected me to take his place. Now, I'm, I'm not perfect either. Um, I've been involved with the nation for the last three years, the last two as the vice president. And now I'm speaking to you. If you're part, if you're Nawabian or you're part of the nation and you've given your hard earned money to this man, that money is gone. I'm sorry to say, I'm, I'm just, a lot of brothers is hurt. A lot of brothers might be in tears. They put their faith in this man. This white man and the six ether forces, like Dr. Yex, like Dr. York said, and um, in the Black Book Part Two, he'll explain the six ether forces. This is what Chief White Man, the German, the germ man, um, has done. So I'm sorry to report this to everyone out there. Um, I tried my best to account for the nation's funds uh, at the Wells Fargo Bank uh, as far as doing an audit going back 12 months um, on the nation's account. Uh, AMOM money that people may have spent, uh, ancient Egyptian order money that people have spent, you will see no value in return. I'm sorry. Under the white man um, so he can't help it it's just in his natural nature to do this to to moors to brothers to black people uh, again we've been hoodwinked and I even I was fooled as the vice president you know I would ask questions about you know what are we doing you know we haven't done anything in three years we haven't done anything in eight years. All you did was printed out some certificates and ID cards and, and that was about it. And when asked with these questions, uh, Chief White Man had nothing to say. It was always an excuse after an excuse after an excuse. But excuses run out after a while. You gotta produce something. And um, I'm actually thankful to deliver this message today all praises to our new um, that the citizens voted him out and um, and put me in the place now th there's a document there was a parliamentary hearing well actually it was a citizens hearing because I actually stepped down as VP so it wouldn't look like a, a, a mutiny or um, what's the the word that the white man likes to use a uh, treason was in treason. The people have the power to congregate when they want to. No, no uh, white buffalo is going to stop that. If they're dissatisfied with you being chief, 
it's time for you to step down because you can't do your duties. That's not our fault. That's your fault. Um, the citizen, the citizenry who's giving this coward, this imposter money, he's accountable to them. And the money I've given too, he's accountable to us all. Uh, but when we ask where the money's at, no answer, y'all. He can't produce one official piece of documentation to say what the monies have been marked for, certain projects that the money was supposed to go for, like clearing out the land. I gave him $1,000. Another brother gave him $1,000. He was supposed to put in $1,000. That was at the end of 2017. The project still hasn't been even thought about or executed. Uh, and there's numerous projects um, that I could name off here, but that would take too much time. And yeah, I think y'all already get the message. If you felt something funny about this guy, those feelings have been manifested into reality. Um, he's not a leader. He's not even a man. Um, his wife even left him with the two children. Okay, this is the type of person that we're talking about. A person that can't even keep his wife in the house another woman moved in the house and convinced his wife to leave him with two children okay after a marriage of eight or nine years and nobody's in his circle everybody that was close to this white man they all left especially on the nation side you want to know why because they all got the same feeling that we got and why we had to vote him out of office now moving forward there will be a more transparency into each account for the AMOM, AEO, especially the national public account into which the government is liable to prove to the people that the money's there on a monthly or quarterly basis. Um, more harmony is encouraged uh, moving forward. There's, there's going to be no compartmentalizing of brothers talking to each other, sisters talking to each other, um, and going forward, the Maku cannot control the treasury. That's um, that's illegal going forward. Too much power consolidated in one seat. And the biggest point I want to make to y'all, the biggest point I want to make, is that this this white man was never elected to office after the Dr. Malachi Z. York, the founding father of the nation. He was never elected to office. He's a sap, a self-appointed president to a dictatorship that is illegal in a democracy. Unless somebody votes on you have an ultimate power like Julius Caesar, which nobody did and nobody elected him to office. There's no paperwork to back this up. So he's been running a fraud for the last eight years. Um, for some folks, this might be hard to hear, but we got all the facts and evidence on our side. The fact that nothing's been done in eight years. Everything he's done has been charitable donations, even buying the land. A sister named Lanisha gave him $1,500 to do that. Uh, the food cart that he was running, Brother Leon, I think paid for the whole cart. Uh, so he's accomplished nothing in his life except running an eight-year fraud. Um, peace to the brothers that had their heart in this, wanting to see something happen, and nothing ever came to fruition. I'm sorry, my heart goes out to y'all. Um, there's a lot of pain that brothers is dealing with, with this whole situation. Um, but rest assured, uh, we'll be putting out a new website, new phone number to call. Because if you call the old number, um, you're liable to get brainwashed and uh, tricked out of your money, promise certain things that will never happen. Take it from me, the vice president who was close to the white man. Um, take it from me, you'll never see anything in return. Uh, I've even helped this white man out with personal issues um, personal issues like lending him $500 so he could take care of his children 
um, and ask for nothing in return except that you just be a good leader and lead the nation. Um, gave him $2,000 to work on the holy tablets that we will be reprinting and he took my money and ran with it. You know, paid for the retyping of the holy tablets and now I can't even get the document back from this guy. So, again, um, and there's a lot of brothers who've given money. Um, I'll let them speak on their own testimonials that gave this guy money and will never see a dime in return. So, um, the six ether forces of the Tamahu still work deep, if even within our nation. So we have to root the, these people out, not saying that all um, Caucasian folks are bad. I'm, I'm not saying that, but this one was horrible. He used Nawabu in an evil way. Um, hopefully, well, we will have a phone number for people to reach out and call if they want to inquire about uh, this internal issue, but... I just wanted to make a public announcement that uh, that Chief White Man Buffalo, the German, is no longer in office. Um, the people who are active in the nation, who are citizens, elected me. I did. I didn't plan this out. Um, I really had no inclination about what was going on until I voiced my own concerns, and then brother said, "Yeah." me too i got a problem with that too especially the money um you know uh, brothers is calling this white guy and this white guy doesn't want to listen to him because he's kicking it with a girl you know we talking about national issues and how to raise money and his his main focus is women you know how many women can i have sex with tonight you know how many women could i date off a of tinder and plenty of fish and oh, let me go take a picture in front of a Porsche. And he can't even deliver people's IDs. You know, their certificates and IDs that they paid three hundred and sixty dollars for, and you can't even deliver because you're probably spending that money and spending it on women. You know, uh, doing whatever you do with these women. You know, um, that's not our fault. Um, whatever internal issues you have going on in your life. He needed to handle it accordingly, and he needed to handle the nation's business accordingly, and the fraud just has to stop. The nation can't continue like that. So um, this is just a message to the brothers and sisters out there that uh, I'm sorry. Whatever money you gave to the nation under his administration, which you can see the fraudster on unnm.org. You can see exactly what he looks like. Uh, that guy spent your money. Uh, like I said, going, going forward under my administration, there will be transparency, more open communication, and more goal setting and achievements. Uh, this is something that was not done in, under the last administration. Well, I'm sorry, y'all. Let me take this back. There was no administration. He was never elected to office. He's a sap, a self-appointed dictator. So with that said, I'm gonna end this public service announcement until we speak next. Wadu.